And, uh, Oliver Goss has mentioned that uh, Adam Scott is his golfing hero, so I did a little split screen here to take a look at both players. You'll notice the setup position is very similar. Both have very straight backs, a little bit of flex in the knee as they stand up to the ball. They look very athletic, very similar in build. Both take the club away by pushing it back, keeping it low, big, full turn. Adam Scott's backswing perhaps just a little longer and a little more upright, but coming back to the ball, very similar position, great extension through. About the only difference I can see in the finish, well, the hips are turned a little bit more through by Oliver Goss, the left arm, perhaps just a little bit higher. I think that might have to do with one being 19 years old and the other <laughs> being 33, but uh, pretty similar swings, and uh, I have been very impressed with Goss's uh, golf game all week long. Where Oliver Goss has this par putt to win the hole and increase his lead on Brandon Matthews to three up. And 19 years old, going to be a sophomore at Tennessee, quarter finalist last year at Cherry Hills, and he's got some pretty good credentials there, Steve. Western Australia amateur champion last year as well. He did uh, have a, a great run in Australia, and maybe more importantly, started in the spring semester at Tennessee, played eight events, seven top 25s, ended up being a third-team All-America selection, so quickly making a name for himself here in the U.S. And quickly. And then Goss with his second at the fifth. Yeah, long par four, but he drove the ball beautifully in the fairway and able to take advantage of that length with a relatively short iron to very close distance. And then Goss for birdie at the sixth. So back-to-back -back birdies for Goss at five and six. That gave him a one-up lead. And if Goss fails to chip this in for par, it'll be the first time anyone has been two up in this match. over to 15 for Watt. And this is uh, really a very similar putt that we saw Neil Raymond have out in match one. And I thought it would go a little left. It still looks like it should go a shade left, but uh, Raymond's didn't. squared the matchup with three holes left. So it looks like Scheffler's going to be in another dramatic one down to the end as Brady Watt, who had to watch Scheffler make an ace earlier in this quarterfinal match at the seventh hole, uh, buries one in his own right to square that match up. But now Reeves finds himself down to Brady Watt. He's trying to finish him off here. of uh, Annika Sorenstam, David Duvall, head leaving a little early. <laughs> it's a nice shot. Very long and gnarly. Uphill shot here for Brady Watt at the 14, some 30 feet from fairway to green. Yeah, so the players will factor in, Dan, about 10 yards. Uh, try to add about 10 yards to the actual yardage. So we have 202, probably play closer to 210, 212. on a good line. Oh, oh good man. looking drop shot there he is. Wow, man. That sounded good, looked good, and nearly was perfect. There's a little twirl of the club that yeah. worked out this time. <laughs> Boy, that looked like he was going to go down. Right in the middle of the flagstick.
still gimme range for Brady Watt. Now Goss to try to answer. He's got the one-up lead. <coughs> this from 180 and was on a bit of an upslope, helping it launch it well into the air, right of the hole. Right. Also a solid shot. Well, it's these kind of moments, that kind of shot that can just turn a match on its ear. And Brady Watt, who's that close for a kick in birdie at the 14th, just a few moments perhaps away from squaring up that match with four holes left. And over at 14, where Watt's birdie has already been conceded, so this birdie for Goss to have the hole and keep his lead. Well, the nice thing is here in this situation, you can afford to be a little bit firmer. Look at this putt, Gary. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You know you don't have to worry about the comeback putt. <laughs> oh, what? That An is effort. the exchange of the day, and very in all likelihood could determine the outcome of this match. <laughs> Watt nearly holds it from the fairway, and that's great sportsmanship. Watt coming over after Goss went on top of him with a birdie. Amazing stuff by the two Aussies. The good sportsmanship by Goss and Watt, and uh, boy, <laughs> this is shaping up to be quite a finish here by these two. Well, I have to say, Dan, uh, I've been very impressed with the quality of the play today in both matches. Uh, usually at this stage of the championship, uh, you know, it's a long week. They've played a lot of golf. There's a lot at stake, especially for those who go on and uh, play in the final tomorrow, but uh, I've been very impressed with all four competitors. Trick. Great sportsmanship by the Aussie mates and good friends, Goss and Watt. Just as much or more than he did that 1913 U.S. Open. Talk about a shot delivered yesterday in that spectacular semifinal duel between Goss and his good friend Brady Watt. This was the second at this 14th that nearly Watt pulled out, settled for a conceded birdie, and then his good pal Goss for birdie to have the hole. Well, this is a very improbable putt to make. In fact, he said if I hit it 100 times, I'd probably only make it once. But he did it when it counted. And he kept his one-up lead and ended up closing out Watt. Now his caddy today at the 18th hole. So here they are in comeback mode today. Mentioned that Brady Watt and Oliver Goss, very familiar with one another, staying in the same house this week. And they have had some competitive rounds here lately, Steve. And Oliver Goss has gotten the better of his pal Watt. He certainly has. The Australian amateur, he won in stroke play, sort of like the Western amateur. Then it goes to a match play portion. Again, Oliver took care of business there. And then the Western Australian Open in the fall of 2012. Both players birdied the last two holes, then went on a birdie barrage in the playoff. Finally, Oliver survived, becoming the first uh, amateur since 1991 to win that event when Stephen Leaney did it. Not only staying in the same house, Dan, they rode over together in the car this morning. Uh, I mean... Rooms right next to each other in that house. <laughs> yeah, Raj, I don't know about your uh, thoughts, but uh, I wouldn't want to be playing one of my best friends uh, in match play. I... I I think that could actually be a little bit on the difficult side. I'd rather uh, play somebody I don't know. I agree. It adds an extra wrinkle to it. Is to have the hole. And it's been very amiable to this point, but I wonder how much longer <laughs> the conversation <laughs> and the uh, good times will last here. So all Match all square. All square between the good mates from Australia. Goss, 172 yards to the hole. I would think he has to be looking at the center of the green here. No more, Gary, because there's no guarantee that Watt can get his third anywhere near the hole. Well, this is right at it. <laughs> no fear. Well, they play the game differently than we do, Raj. Uh, they think differently. I guess uh, most of these young collegiates are used to playing aggressively. They eye the flag stick, and they go right at it no matter what the situation. There. It is. Uh, not one he can free will. His hands are a little bit tied. This is a putt you have to hit a little bit on the defensive side. Come across a slight ridge, last half of the putt downhill, moving to his left. Oh, but did he play it? Oh, oh, so oh, oh how does it stop there? Wow. Big moment here for Mr. Watt. So it's like Brady comes up big in Boston? Is that the headline? <laughs> it's amazing, Raja. You can read between the lines. <laughs> Some very thick rough. This was the second that Goss played from 116. Really tough lie. Grab the club tightly and just swing with all your might. You can see the right leg and foot coming forward, but what a shot. 
uses the slope from the right side of the green. And that ball would continue to funnel right into the center of the putting surface and a heck of a shot. It's been one up for Goss ever since the 11th hole as these two have just gone back and forth with quality shot after another. Been a very impressive match to watch with the two good friends from Australia. Guys that grew up playing junior golf together. So familiar with each other's games. Share the same dreams here in this U.S. Amateur. Only one guy gets to move on, though. Oh, that's left. And Match that's over. It. Oliver Goss is in the final tomorrow. Two up win over Brady Watt. And he's got himself a spot in the Masters and the U.S. Open.